All right, I think we're live. Um, hi, I'm Michael. Um, today I'm going to be rebuilding a computer for a client. Um, they bought a new case and a new CPU cooler, and I th yeah, some new fans also. Um, but yeah, so the the new case is a NZXT H7, which I haven't opened yet, but. Before I do that, um, I thought it'd be a good idea to make sure everything works out of the box as far as like motherboard, CPU, RAM, um, power supply, and graphics card. He um, he took this out of his old case, which is actually right here. It's a, uh, it's a fairly large case. Um, I think it's a high airflow, but um, you know, fairly uh, fairly huge <laughs> and. Uh, he, um, I think what he's mainly looking for is just a nicer case, which it is, um, and maybe quieter. And he, I didn't mention it yet, but he bought a, uh, a triple rad cooler from Corsair. And I don't recommend, I don't recommend water cooling, liquid cooling uh, in computers. The, um, the, the risk of things failing, um, there's two extra things that can fail in, in a water cooled system. There's a pump that pumps the water around the loop, and also the uh, the liquid inside um, can leak. So the pump can fail, the uh, the liquid can leak. I've replaced so many um, all-in-one coolers; it's uh, it's kind of ridiculous. Just I don't recommend them. But that's what he wanted. That's what he gets, right? He paid for it. Okay. So let's see. Let's get this thing hooked up. See if it works. So graphics card, I need the cables from power supply, which are here, along with the Wi-Fi cable, it looks like. I need that. All right, so hopefully this is everything I need. So a 24 pin. For the motherboard, 8 pin for the CPU. Got some SATA power, which we're not going to need at the moment. Uh, and a couple of 6 plus 2 pin cables for the graphics card, which it needs a 4 and a 6. Sorry, an 8 and a 6. But we'll get to that. All right. So yeah, it's a modular power supply, so you don't have to connect anything extra to it that you don't need for a particular build. But, okay, so it's these pins here, and then an extra set of them for the 24 pin. Hey there. Yes, Boo Liquid Coolers indeed. Don't recommend them. Okay, so this is CPU. And we'll go ahead and hook up both of the uh, PCIe power connections. Twenty-four pin over here, and CPU two plus two makes eight. And go right here. This motherboard has a spot where you can put an extra four for the CPU. This uh, this power supply just doesn't have it. Almost never needed the uh, the extra power there, so I, I think it'll be okay. Graphics, we will plug in. The reason I put this on top of the motherboard box is so that the uh, the faceplate can go off the edge and have some place to go. If you have the motherboard directly on a surface, it, uh, it'll bump into the surface, so it kind of hangs off there. That's the reason for that. All right. So I need to plug in. So it's 6 plus 2. You stick them together, it makes 8. 
like that. And then the other six. These only go in one way. There's a little bit of plastic right there on the um, on the connector um, on the motherboard that matches up with this little thing right here that it kind of clips on. Whenever, whenever you go to um, unplug it, you squeeze right here in order to release it. And right now I'm running um, both connections off of one cable. When I actually go to hook it up in the computer, I'll do a separate cable. But at the moment, this is like bound up with some electrical tape. And this is just a test, just to make sure the system powers on and works. All right, so HDMI, and I'll need to switch my monitor over to, oh, come on, HDMI. Main power plugged in, main power on. We need something on the cooler, or we need, we need something on the CPU. I'm just going to use this old AMD cooler. <laughs> I keep it around just for things like this. Um, I'm only going to have this on for a very limited amount of time. Should have done this before. <laughs> okay, that's clean enough for what we're doing. So the idea behind this is that this has enough thermal mass to soak up the heat that's going to be coming out of that CPU. I'm just going to put a little bit of thermal paste in the middle. I usually put more than that, but this is just a temporary thing. I'm just going to stick this right on top of the CPU. Just like that. Okay. So, uh, that should be everything we need plugged in just to get video on that screen. So, I'm going to press together the pins for the power button, which uh, if I'm, I'm reading right here, it should be these two guys right here. Yep. So turn it on. RAM lit up. RGB RAM. It's a GTX 1080 Ti. And this is a, a Tough Gaming by Asus X570 Plus Wi-Fi. Should be getting video here. Come on. There we go. CPU fan error, indeed. I did not plug in a CPU fan, so I'm just going to switch that right back off. This basically works. That's all I was looking for. So now we go through the process of putting it all in the case. So yeah, whenever you disconnect the, the power um, cables on the, uh, the motherboard or on the graphics card, there's a little thing right here you have to kind of squeeze as you pull. Squeeze, pull. Same thing with the 24 pin. And the CPU pins. All right. Cooler can go away. And I'll just wipe off the excess. So that can be used again. to cut off the CPU. Alright, and when you're taking out the uh, a graphics card, there's a little thing down here, right there. Let's see, yeah, y'all can see that. My camera needs to go down a little bit. 
goes right here. So you kind of push on it with your with your finger if you can. If you can't reach it, you can do it with a screwdriver. So if the card is here and you've got a big cooler right here, you can reach through with uh, like a screwdriver, reach through and, and press on it to get it to eject. All right. Let's get the power supply out of the way. And the motherboard with the CPU and RAM. Oh, the other thing. Um, he's been running his system off of a, um, a hard drive. And I asked him about that. And he said, yeah, please do order me a one terabyte solid state drive. But he's, run he's been running the entire system off of this two terabyte hard drive, which that is makes the computer so slow it's just ridiculous um so the the one terabyte solid state drive will be here tomorrow so i won't be installing that today but it goes in this m.2 slot right here so that's that's a pretty straightforward thing but we'll be running the system when it boots up off of a hard drive so it's going to take a little bit longer to do a few other things once it's up and running uh Graphics card over there. All right, let's get the case. Ah, okay. It's a white one. Oh, come on, fold over. So if you turn it upside down and then just lift the, the box on it, that's usually an easier way to get it out. Okay, so it's white and black. solid front I was I was afraid of that so the the cases with solid fronts like this they don't typically have very good air intake from the front because they can't because there's nowhere for it to come in this right here is where the the air from the front is meant to come in I don't think that's enough so not ideal they do make a version of this case and it's a Corsair H7 that's called the flow option. And the front of it is mesh. So it, that's much better. If you, can, if you can get the flow option of this case, you're, you're going to be in better shape. I'm hoping it's going to be all right, though, because we do have a very large cooler that's going to be um, dragging air from the inside of the case and blowing it out the top. So that I just kind of pulled from the back and it came off. The front comes off by doing that. Oh, come on. No? Do I have to take the case off, case sides off first? Maybe. Let's see, does it just... Okay. So you push from the side to take the the glass panel off and yeah there's a little indentation here put it on and it comes off all right will the top come off or the front come off now yeah okay didn't want to before oh wait a minute let's turn this around we got the accessories and the rest of that can sit right there for now. <laughs> hey Chip, no buffering issues today. Okay, good. Other than when I was having buffering issues, it was it was on me. I figured it out. Okay, you you had buffering issues yesterday during the stream. I think I remember that. Cool, you figured it out. You can just buy the mesh front cover for like fifteen bucks. Okay, that's a good that's a good point. Um, if it's really 15 bucks, it's not bad. Um, and what I, what I'll probably end up doing is, um, testing this 
with the front cover on, um, getting like a, a good reading of temperatures with everything really, you know, spun up and under stress. And then I'll just take the cover off and see how much the temperatures go down. If it's like two degrees, who cares? But if it's 10 or 15, it'd be worth spending the money. Uh, right. Well, let's get the motherboard in there. Let's see. This motherboard doesn't have an integrated uh, IO shield. So it's this guy here. I believe. Let's see. Stick that on there. Yep, that's right. Okay, so we need to push this into the case. And you just kind of get it in a couple of corners, switch to the other side, push it in. Make sure both sides are good. Uh, this right here needs to come in some more. There we go. Yes. All right, as far as risers go, let's see. See, uh, should we should we partially put on the cooler before we put this in the case? Hmm. Let me see. So if it fits like that, it looks like we've got enough cut out, so we can do it uh, after it's in. We can always take it back out if we need to. Okay. But let's let's check the risers. So one, two, three. One, two, three. The risers, what they do is they hold the, the motherboard off the back of the case. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. Okay, standard standard riser placements already in the case. All right, so I'm just going to put this approximately in the right spot and then push it back. That felt good. And this case has a little pin that comes up through this hole, so it kind of falls into place. And the risers look good. What I'm doing is I'm looking through the other uh, holes in the motherboard and seeing how well it lines up with the risers. Uh, looks pretty close. Yeah, the screw should go in. Okay. All right, let's get to the screws. Oh, okay. So they're in separate bags that are connected to each other. We've got a bunch of coarse threaded screws, a bunch of fine threaded screws, some fan screws, uh, extra riser, and a riser, um, like an Allen wrench, um, uh, tightening tool. So, and then some, looks like four coarse threaded screws. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, four millimeter standoff. So risers are also called standoffs, and it says standoffs are 632. That's the coarse threaded, so we need coarse threaded screws, which are these guys up here. So these guys right here will go through the holes in the motherboard and hold down the, the motherboard into the case. So we, need, oh, we need eight of them, because there's nine holes, and one of them is taken up with a, uh, a pin. So that's six, eight. Take it off. What is this? Uh, I'm not sure what this is. pieces in here. They kind of look like drive sleds. Yeah, I think this is for adding two and a half inch drives. Um, 
into the case, which I don't think we're going to need to do in this build. So I'll put that with the motherboard box. All right, let's get the screws in. Yeah, I'll use a regular screwdriver for this. Let's see. Herschel Pro is having a... I am not to SSD M.2 XPG 16 gigs. Still everything is okay. But still my computer runs slow installing Windows from multiple times. I'm not sure what you're saying there, Herschel. And you said it twice. Yeah, Chip. The uh, the the case is is problematic because of the, uh, the that that solid front piece. But um, Gravity Bong mentions you can get one for 15 bucks um, that has the um, uh, the mesh uh, option. So if that's if that's true and you don't have to pay a whole bunch for shipping, that's uh, that'd be a good thing to do. All right, start getting these screws in. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, come on. Y'all aren't gonna be a pain, are you? Hmm. Okay, so I kind of had to reach in and push the motherboard down this way in order to get that screw in. The alignment on the, uh, the risers are maybe a millimeter off in a couple of locations, but that's that's you know, that's close enough to be able to get it in, I think. Oh, I understand, Herschel. It's not your it's not your primary language. Still running slow. Well the the computer the computer running slow, um, is it running off of a solid state drive or is it running off of a hard drive like the copy of Windows? Because that, that can make a huge difference in the speed. So when I'm putting these screws in to begin with, um, I'm just getting them started in each hole and then I'll go back and tighten them down once they're all in. Here comes the last one. Okay, so that's in, and I'm, I'm going to tighten it down. Another thing I noticed about this motherboard, it's a pretty new motherboard, but it doesn't have a um, um, PCI... I'm sorry, USB 3.1 Gen 2 header on the motherboard. And I believe this case has an M.2. Yeah, so it's it's got a it's got a USB C here that's not gonna work. But it does have two other USBs, so you know, probably alright. If he wants the USB-C to work in the front, you can you can get a um, a PCI Express card to go in one of these bottom slots that will give you that connection. I don't know if I got these or not. That's a, that's a pin. Okay, I believe I got them all. Yeah. Okay. Uh, motherboard's in. Let's start dealing with the cooler. So yeah, I'm thinking the best place to put the cooler is going to be at the top of the case, uh, right up here, as opposed to here. 
especially since this thing has a solid front that's going to go on it. Um, it should all, this should also look pretty cool too. And he's got three extra fans that we're going to put in the front that are all RGB. So it's going to be all RGB on the, uh, on the inside here. I'm not sure how much will show up on the outside, but it's got a big glass, uh, glass front on it. Okay. Mounting hardware. So AMD AM4, that's what we want. It's also got stuff for TR4, which is Threadripper, and Intel. I'll just leave those in the box for now. Looks like we got three fans. Which I assume are RGB. I think they are based on the... Uh, yeah, they are. They've, they've got... Uh, They've got RGB headers, so we will need those. Um, here's the, the radiator and a fan hub. Cool. Okay. So that's where all the RGB is going to plug in. I uh, haven't seen the manual yet. Allen wrench. Nice. <laughs> Where's the manual, man? Did I just miss it? I don't see a manual on this thing. Okay, thumb screws, and long screws, okay, no man over there. Did any of you see the manuals as taking this thing apart? Yeah, it's a, it's an H7, Blackman 0604. Hey Roger, thanks man, thanks for the dono. What a weird SATA connection this motherboard has. Does it? Oh yeah, it's got it's just got two here. There's there's four more down here though. Yeah, usually you see SATA connections all along here, but they put four of them down there. Where's the manual? <laughs> Putting together a an all in one without a manual. I don't know about that. Although it's I mean maybe it's in here. Maybe it's inside the baggie. So that, that's no. That's for the case. Oh, come here, USB. All right, well, let's look it up online. Get the case out of the way, and we will find the manual online. We'll do it live, right? Okay, so I'm just I'm copying. Uh, let's see. Scene. Can y'all see my main monitor? Yeah, you can. Cool. All right. Let me plug in this. Uh, plug in my phone while I do this. Because this stuff just eats up the battery. Okay. Uh, Corsair product. Yeah, this hopefully will give us um, a manual. Hmm. Well, this is it. Easy to install, nice. Module tool free mounting bracket. Uh, 
Ah, uh, okay. Well, that didn't didn't give us a uh, Corsair Gaming Students PC component. Where's support? How about just support? I don't want software. I don't want PC gaming. Uh, okay. Manual? PDF. Here we go, direct link. Just added manual to it. Uh, okay, included hardware. Uh, all that stuff. Install the fans and the radiator. Install the pump. Okay, so AM3 slash AM4 mounting bracket. Hang on, let me do some stuff with monitors. Gamer plays. Uh, how do you screen record? Um, to do the screen recording right here is just the OBS software, um, which I can bring over here. So it does that that weird effect um, that y'all I think can see right now. Um, it's like a screen inside of a screen, but all the stuff down here is what you need. It's got different scenes and sources, so you set up a source like a, a screen is a source, a camera is a source, uh, and you can kind of drag them around. Um, but yeah, look up OBS. And there, there's lots of good YouTube videos that show you how to set it up. Uh, okay, so we definitely need this guy. And I believe this is... Okay, so it's got a cover on it. Peel. No peel there. So AMD AM4. Those do not look right. So it's got a plastic cover. I think the AM4 stuff may already be on it. Oh, no, wait a minute. It says to take these off for AM4. So these are probably for Intel. And it says to put... Uh, those on. Although... That does not look right. So the AM3, AM4 are supposed to look like this, which are not these, not those. And we got the AMD, AM4 um, hardware right here. That's definitely Intel. This is for a thread ripper. In no way correct. Hmm. 
this is the only thing I have left. And it actually did come in the uh, in the box. It's just we have to assume that's correct. Do I have the wrong directions? Maybe that's a possibility. What did I get here? So it's uh, H150 Elite Pellets Manual, according to what I'm seeing here. IQ150I Elite Capellics. Yeah, it's, it's right, but what I got in the box does not match up what the, the manual online says, and I did not find a manual in this thing. Let's go through it again. No, there's not a manual. I mean, it straight up doesn't have the right hardware in it. Yeah, he's got a GTX 1080 Ti, which I was I was surprised when I went to look at it. They're they're still selling for like 500 bucks on Amazon, which is crazy. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't have the right hardware in it. So it's listed as AMD AM4, and it's got these kind of standoffs. I think I might see. So the, okay, these, um, let me switch to, let me switch to uh, first person view. So the manual I, I don't think has been updated, at least not the one that I'm looking at right now. Unplug that. But I think I see how it's supposed to go. So it's got these these four um, standoffs or risers that I believe go into the um, into the backplate that comes with the motherboard by default because this right here this came in um, the, these um, brackets came in the the bag with the AMD AM4 and they line up with the holes in the motherboard right here. So it looks like you're supposed to use the included um, retention mechanism that comes with the motherboard, which I don't have. But I guess that makes sense because if, if we had the original um, backplate, it has screw holes in it 
that these would go into and then they would fit this would fit over them and then be screwed in with some thumb screws here but we are missing the back plate so let's see I don't think I have one either I used my last one like last week I think I have an AM3 one but we need one for AM4 I'm pretty sure this is my AM3 one. I looked at it before uh, last week. Let's see. Uh, so it would have to match up with this. Yeah, this is AM3. We need AM4. natural cooler. I think it's the one I have in this system I'm screwing off of right now. Uh, well, uh, then we really can't continue with this unless we have the, the back plate. Let me try and find maybe a more up-to-date version of the of the, the manual yeah this is still showing that mounting method so the idea behind behind this right here is um let me zoom in a little bit or zoom on this stupid thing the idea behind this mounting method is that these little things right here will go on the outside of um, the block and then this right here kind of wraps around those and gets screwed in. Anders Crawford says, how do you know what orientation to put the pump on the motherboard? Um, so that it fits and uh, it looks like it's not upside down or sideways. Um, like on this one, it's kind of got the, the Corsair. Let me see. It's got the Corsair um, logo on it. So that would be a, a pretty good indication of which way you're supposed to put it. It's bothering me that I can't I can't locate a manual that has this new this apparently newer mounting mechanism or maybe it's older I don't know I don't know how long the guy had this thing you know 
Maybe he has the manual. It, it wasn't a sealed box, so that that's that's a possibility. He just kept the manual. Okay, so manual searches aren't getting us anything. Let's try, um, uh, let's try installation. Well, we have a YouTube video. Let's see. Is this from Cors Corsair Labs? Okay. Mounting bracket. Yeah, so this this is what this is right here is what we're supposed to have, according to to this uh, this video. We're supposed to have this right here, and then those two you'll be able to see it here. Yeah, so it kind of goes through here like that. So we straight up don't have the um the mounting hardware that it that it lists here. It, I mean that like I said, it's it was an open box. The client may have this stuff, but if that's the case. What is this and what are these? Is just is it just a really old version of this? Because this this is what came in the AMD um, AM4 bag. Those right there. And the only the only way this makes sense is if you're supposed to use the back plate that comes with the uh, the AM4 motherboard, which again I don't have. And it bothers me that I'm not seeing um, this hardware in any manual. And I don't have a manual. Yeah, it's it's the same crap. It's not what's in the box. Let me try um, AM4 backplate. Okay, some another YouTuber. AMD installation. Ooh, okay. This is different. So yeah, you take off the ones that come with it. This is from back in December 10th. Here we go. Okay, so this, this is what we actually have. Yeah, we've got those two. Yeah, and it shows it shows it going going through the um, the back plate that comes with the uh, with the motherboard. Let me give him a call see if he's got it. I think he's at work right now, so I'm not going to be able to get the back plate until later on today um, from him, or we may have to order him one. But um, apparently, I think this is an older version of the. Um, of the uh, the cooler that has this different mounting mechanism that's not showing up in current manuals. Okay, but I'm gonna have to cut the stream there. I don't have anything else to show you, and with without that, we really can't continue this. Um, I guess I could go ahead and put the power supply in and the fans and stuff, though. It's just ugh. Okay. So yeah, I mean, it's it's this plus these plus the back plate.
I don't know. Do y'all think I, I should keep going and, and do the do the all in one cooler later or um, just cut the stream and then come back when I have all the parts, including the solid state drive, by the way. That's that's another thing I don't have right now. Um, you don't have the stock aim for bracket. No, I don't. Um, I used my last one last week. I suppose I should probably buy a couple of those just from Amazon so I can have them on hand because, you know, this is the second time I've needed one. Intel backplate. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna cut the stream there. When I get the um, the backplate from the person, or if I have to buy him one, and also whenever the uh, the solid state drive comes in, the one terabyte solid state drive. <clears throat> excuse me. I'll um, I'll pick this up. Do another stream tomorrow. But yeah, thanks everybody. Motherboard is not new, Blackman0604. This um, this is a, um, a system that the, the client took apart out of a very large, I think it's a high airflow case from Cooler Master, and he wants it put into this new case. But uh, we're missing a couple of important things. Solid state drive, uh, not so important for a build, but for performance, yes, but also the backplate. Okay, so Herschel, you looked it up too, and you can't do it without the backplate. Yeah, that's that's a bummer. Okay, but yeah, uh, thanks everybody for coming and chatting and all. Um, I'll do another stream probably tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon, and we'll get this thing together. Um, Y'all have a good rest of your day.